Let's open up the window by going to the Game Modules menu and then click on Game Modules Manager Window. And let's go ahead and dock that somewhere and we'll make it a little bit wider than this. Let's quickly set up some of the most basic objects that you might have in your game, such as stats. Click the Stats button. Since we do not have any stats yet, the Create Stats window is open. So let's go ahead and type in some names for new stats that we know we're going to need for our project. And there are multiple different types of stats I've listed here. So we're just going to start by typing in stat. Clicking Create creates all of those stats. We can click here to see the objects in our project and we can expand them to modify them here, or we can click on them here and modify them in the inspector. You'll have the same options in both views. Every game module object has a name, which is the name of the scriptable object itself, and a object type. In this case, these are all stats. The object type is the name of the folder that they're contained in. If you want to create a new object type, create a new folder, and then move the stats into that folder. We've moved some of our stats to be counters and some stats to be main stats. Check out the deep dive video into stats to learn more about stat objects. Let's go back here and create some item objects. These are going to be things that people might be able to obtain in the game, like weapons or other objects. Oftentimes these are physical objects, although you can use item objects in unique and novel ways to achieve new mechanics for your project. Let's create some weapons. Great, let's create some armor. Just like stats, you can see the actual scriptable objects by clicking on the arrow, and you can edit them by clicking the icon or by loading up the scriptable object in the inspector. See the deep dive video into item objects to learn more about those. Let's go ahead and go over to the item attributes. Item attributes can be attached to item objects and describe the objects, such as a sword of magic, or they can be used in other ways to describe other things. They're able to modify stats and they can do so outside of the item object or as part of the item object. So let's create some character races for a fantasy game. Excellent. Now let's create some character classes. We're going to choose new type and then type in classes. Great. Now let's create some prefixes that might affect objects. Finally, let's create some attributes to define the rarity of objects. As with the others, we can click the arrow to see the item attribute scriptable objects. We can edit them by the clicking on the eyeball or by loading them up in the inspector. Great, let's go back and create some conditions. Conditions are things that affect stats in unique ways. They could have a periodic effect or a static effect until they expire and they can affect points or the final value of a stat, such as affecting the health of a character or the strength or speed of a character. There are more that conditions can do, so definitely check out the deep dive into conditions for more information on those. Great, let's click back and create some quests. Quests are things that your players can do during the game. They can also have an effect on stats based on whether they're in progress, completed, or failed. Definitely check out the deep dive video into quests to learn more about how to use them and set up quest conditions and quest rewards. Let's create some simple quests. There's more that we cover in the deep dive videos for every game module, so definitely check those out. I hope this gave you a quick overview as to how easy it is to set up objects in the game modules, which then can be connected to automatically drive some of the more complicated data aspects of your game. A lot of the examples here were fantasy because I'm into fantasy games, but you can use this for sci-fi games, real world games, puzzle games, trading card games, tower defense games, role playing games, or any other kind of game you want. Game modules allows you to make your game to make your game the way you want to make your game. Come to the Discord if you have any questions, and I hope to chat to you soon. Thanks.